Hey, indie filmmakers, Griffin here. I am at Photo Plus Expo, the second trade show that I've spoken at where they have the GH5 on display inside a glass box. It's not ready yet, but two things that are pretty exciting about this camera. One is that when it comes out in early spring, it'll shoot 4K 60p, and the other big thing is that it will do 10-bit 422 internal. But what does that mean? A lot of people want 10-bit 422 recording. They get external recorders so they can do it. So let me explain what this actually means. 10-bit and 422 are both ways that we talk about how we capture color. The GH4, which I'm shooting with right now, captures 8-bit color, which means it captures 256 shades of red, 256 shades of blue, 256 shades of green. That's 16 million possible color combinations. The GH5, with 10-bit internal recording, means it gets 1,024 versions of each. So that's a billion color combinations. Now, before you get too excited, you can shoot 10-bit internal, but your monitor at home might only play back 8-bit, and YouTube videos will only play back 8-bit, so you may not even notice the difference. But if you're a colorist or someone who does green screening, having 10-bit color internal could be very useful. Likewise, 422 is another way we talk about color. It's called chroma subsampling. Chroma subsampling means we don't need to capture color for every single pixel. In fact, the image you're looking at right now is capturing 420 color, meaning that for every four pixels wide and two rows, we actually capture two pixels of color on the top row and zero on the bottom. And that's actually enough color to make a color image. You don't really notice uh, that there's missing color data. You just replicate it over a few pixels. The GH5 will shoot 422, which is actually twice as much color data, meaning on that bottom row, we capture two more. If we were shooting 444, we would be capturing color data for every single pixel. But again, most of the time, for most videos, you wouldn't really notice the difference between 420 and 422 color. But if you're doing green screen, if you're a colorist, you might want to start with more data. So it's pretty cool that the GH5 will be able to capture that internally. One last piece of cool news, Panasonic has actually made me the brand ambassador for the GH5. I was in the product launch video, and they're gonna keep me tightly in the loop about all the new information about the GH5. So stick with me for all the latest info. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to watch my talk at Photo Plus Expo about documentary filmmaking with the GH4 and the upcoming GH5, the whole thing was live on Facebook. So you can click here to watch.